Hey guys, this is a continuation from my first video that I made about the domestic abuse situation about the woman who died. Now recently when I was taking a walk with one of my kids, I got word from the neighbor that lives over there, the one who's not dead. I got word from her that her wife so-called killed herself. Me and my husband are sitting there side-eyed because we don't know whether to believe that or not. We don't know. You know, so many, like, <clears throat> great lines to this story. We don't know what really happened. Oh. Shit, I'm gonna fall over. I'm trying not to step out in the rain and get my socks away. Anyway. Eat it! Anyway, like I said, I met up with one of them, and again, we didn't really know each other. We just saw him every now and then. We never talked. He was nothing that they were the nicest neighbors, as you already can see. I ran into her, and she was asking me if I'd seen her cat. And I was like, no, I haven't seen that particular cat. And then, you know, she, she looked sad. She looked like she'd be crying, so, of course, we knew something was going to happen. So I was like, okay, apparently we kind of heard somebody died over here. You know, what really happened? And she was like, well, my wife committed suicide. And of course, I was like, oh my god, I was stricken. I wasn't expecting to hear that type of news, but again, we don't really know. I gotta eat food. Yeah, food. We don't really know what happened. She could be just saying she committed suicide because she has something to do with it. We're not sure if she is the abusive one. We don't know who's the uh, victim and who was the perpetrator. We don't even know, y'all. You because know, again, we didn't know them like that. She could have just got fed up and killed the perpetrator. Or well, the perpetrator killed the victim finally after how long. And she claimed, oh, it's just suicide. I didn't do anything. No, I'm so sad about it. Y'all, you know, we don't know. But again, their pregnancy dream confirmed that somebody did die. Unless the cops, you know, told us to fill out a police report and all that. And yeah, my pregnancy dream was right. It was right about death. I've never had a pregnancy dream that equated to death. So it's, it was baffling. It was really sad. It's really, really sad because this shit could have been prevented had they pressed charges on, on the woman. Had they, you know, went to jail. But you know, I already know how those situations go. Stockholm Syndrome, as they like to call it. Um, I know how the situations go. You don't want to put your perpetrator, I mean, you don't want to put your so-called loved one in jail. Even when you're beating the shit out of you, you just don't want to do it. I feel some type of way about doing it, so, you know, let's just say it, but like I said, um, the woman, whoever is left alive, claims that her wife committed suicide, so as of now, they moved out of the apartment, they're no longer there, they got their shit moved out, because it's probably too tra traumatizing, plus I think their lease was up anyway, considering it's been literally a full year since they've been here. And yeah, it's probably too traumatizing. She did commit suicide or whatever the case. Either way, somebody died in that apartment. And that's just crazy. Because again, I think it should have been prevented. The apartment manager didn't do shit about it. We talked to her. She kept saying, oh, well, I'll talk to them. I'll do something. But she didn't put them out. These greedy ass people at this place just want money. They don't care what's going on. They just want to keep the tenants, whatever tenants here, as long as they can. We are the money and that's just ridiculous in my opinion. Well, hey, what can you say? That's the world for you. Greed. You know, those women stayed in there beating each other up every couple of weeks, every couple of days, sometimes long nights. Keeping me and my husband up, worried and scared. Scaring our kids, too. You know, our kids were in this shit, too. Remember that? They're in stuff, too. We had to kind of explain it, like, yeah, this is what's going on. And, you know, don't worry, nothing's bad is going to happen to you. But even so, we didn't deal with that shit for a whole year, so it's like about time something happened. But at the same time, the fucking bitch died. Somebody died. We don't know yet until um, they call us back in or whatever. I don't know, but we've had cops in and out of here filling out paperwork to let them know what we think went, went on. So, like I said, I don't know. We could be on trial in a couple of months for this. I don't know. We know the truth soon enough, I guess. I don't know how soon, but it doesn't matter. Either way, my dream is correct. Somebody was dead and yet sad. But hell, I'm just glad they're out of that apartment, finally. 
You don't have to worry about any banging or any abuse over there ever again. Finally. Fucking finally. You can rest. Without me being anxious that the poor woman was being slammed against the wall and screaming her damn head off. Because that's what was literally what was happening. This wasn't a light abuse. This was some serious shit. So, um... Yeah. I just wanted to update you guys on that. I hope you guys are being safe and being well during this coronavirus lockdown. Stay home, stay safe, and stay well. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.